Hello! Hi! It's Rachel here and today I'm going to be filming for you guys a May, beginning of May, book haul because I know I'm going to be bringing you another book haul because books. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be my May book haul. I have a pretty decent amount of books to show you guys and I'm pretty excited about all of them. Um, I may not know what all of them are exactly about but I'm excited nonetheless. So the first three books came from a Half Price bookstore and I've mentioned Half Price books to you guys before. It is a chain of bookstores that I think is only in Texas, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a chain of bookstores where they sell everything at half the price and then sometimes they even have better deals than that. Also excuse if you hear background noise, it is a thunderstorm outside. I am not having an anxiety attack, uh, I'm okay, but just so you guys know if you hear thunder, it's the thunderstorm outside. But anyways, they had a Memorial Day weekend sale where everything was in the store that was 20% off, plus already all the good deals they had, so I could not pass up upon the deals at Half Price Books, plus I was seeing my family, so, you know, I dragged the fiancé to it. So yeah, I got three books from there, and I'm just going to go ahead and show them to you. So the first book that I got is going to be Annabelle by Kathleen Winter. Please excuse this terrible cover, but I have heard really, really good things about this, and this is actually recommended to me by Helene from Helene Jepsen, and pretty much this is a story about a main character who is born intersexed but they choose to raise them as a boy and as the boy grows older he decides that he is more in touch with his feminine side I believe. Um, the reason that I picked this one up was because it was my pick for the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge like last month and I didn't end up picking a book that had the transgender type of storyline in it so I'm really excited that I found this there. This is obviously the UK edition and like I said I do not like the cover of this at all but I'm very very interested to read this to see how I feel about it um, and how I feel about the story. And the next two books are so freaking excited, it, exciting it's just it's mind-blowing. So if you guys remember from my March book haul um, Max from Well Done Books was so sweet and sent me um, a book by Mur Haruki Murakami and I I was so excited when he sent me Norwegian Woods and so when I was at Half Price Books and I was kind of browsing around I, I have asked Half Price Books in the past if they had any books by Haruki Murakami and they always tell me no or that they just sold out well today my friends I have hit the jackpot because I found two books by Haruki Murakami and they were seriously five dollars plus twenty percent off it was the greatest day in my life so the first book that I got by Haruki Murakami is going to be Kafka on the Shores and I really don't know what this book's about or the other book. I just know that I saw them for less than five dollars and um, they never have these and these are expensive books and Haruki Murakami is a critically acclaimed Japanese author and I just I need to get in this world. I want to read more literary fiction. I want to be more diverse in my reading and so I'm very excited that I got this one. And I also was lucky enough to get The Wind Up Bird Chronicles by Haruki Murakami. Very excited again. This is a longer one of his works and they are both in really good condition and they match my copy of, of Norwegian Woods so I am super super excited. Very very happy that I got both of these and um, I'm excited to start building my collection of Haruki Murakami. The next two things were sent to me by a lovely Lovely, lovely guy. Um, I've been talking to him on Twitter. His name is CK Connors and he contacted me on Twitter um, about being interested in reading his short stories and um, so he sent me links to them. I was really excited about it and then he contacted me asking me if he could send me the two short stories and I said yes because they're very very short and I was very excited about it. So um, Connor, or CK Connor sent me a copy of Table 9 and Adventures in Retail. They are both short stories and I'm talking like what 35 pages. They're very very short. I'm very very honored and excited to get to these. He sent me the most lovely and I'm saying lovely note with this. I was it was so sweet. I I got really um, emotional when I read the note that he sent them sent with these um, and he did he was super sweet and he signed each of the uh, of the short stories. This one is just um, of his time when he was working as a um, dietary supplement salesman I believe and he um, shows just stories in retail and this one is about a guy who's reminiscing on his life and he is currently in a like a small room um, I think um, I don't know I'm, I, I'm really excited to read these I'm going to be reading these extremely extremely soon especially because they are super super short and um, I'm excited to get to these and let you guys know what I think about with them when I'm done I have four more books to show you guys and I'm excited 
So the first one is a sequel and that's going to be The Winner's Crime by Marie Rakowski. This is the second book in the Winner's Trilogy and I am super super excited to have the second book. Um, it is beautiful. I don't know why I hadn't picked this one up yet but when I was at Barnes and Nobles looking for one of the books that I have I'm going to be mentioning in my book haul. Um, I saw this one there and I thought, you know, it's about time that I continue with the trilogy uh, or the series or trilogy, whatever. This is only the second book that's out. Um, by the way, if you guys have seen the third, uh, the cover of the third book, it is stunning. I will leave a picture right here, but I am very excited to continue with the story. Um, I read The Winner's Curse last year or the either last year or the beginning of this year with uh, Sarah and Lindsay and we all really really enjoyed it in fact we did a live show for it so I'm really excited to continue with the trilogy follows a main character named Kestrel and Kestrel is the daughter of a very uh, well-to-do um, general and she is expected to either get married or to join the military neither of what she wants to do she wants to preserve her love for music she is one day strolling down the streets with one of her friends and she comes upon a slave auction in which she buys one of the slaves by kind of being tricked into doing so and then the story kind of progresses from there. It was really good. I really enjoyed it and I cannot wait to continue with the series trilogy. The next book is a book that is no stranger to book two right now and that's going to be The Wraith and The, the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Addy. Ad Andy, Addy, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce her name, but this is getting ridiculously rave reviews. I'm very, very excited to read this one. It is, it's something I have not heard before. Um, it's a retelling of, um, or loosely based on the stories of A Thousand Nights, um, or Arabian Nights, Thousand Arabian Nights, in which um, each night the prince um, gets, marries, or sleeps with a girl, and in the morning he has, has her killed. And so the uh, girl, the one that he's currently going to marry, each night she tells a different story, and that keeps her alive. I'm very, very excited to read this. The cover is stunning. The inside is stunning. I, I am excited. The next book I have is one that I've talked about in like my last three videos, but I haven't like officially hauled it yet, and that's going to be End of Days. Susan E.E. E. This needs no introduction. I am at this point now 245 pages into this. I am already in a mourning state because I don't want it to end. I am loving it so freaking much. It's so dear to my soul, my heart. I, I even, I want to reread the trilogy just all in, all together because I love it so much. Um, I'm probably going to do an incomplete video review of all three books when I'm finished with this one. This is seriously, it's so good. I just, I do have some qualms. I won't lie, but I'm so good. And then finally, the book that I am the most excited for, and the book that I have been seeing Max talk about. I saw Helene. I believe I saw Helene talk about it. I could be wrong there. I know I saw Miriam talk about it. I've seen Steve from Steve Reads Books talk about it. I pretty, I'm pretty sure Jenny from Adultish Books has read it. I am just, I've seen this by some reviewers that I completely trust their reviews on, and that book is going to be A Little Life by Hanya Yana Gara, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I have seen them talk about this. This is a massive, massive book. This book has over 700 pages in it and apparently it's 700 pages of devastation. Devastation. I have already started reading the first couple of pages for it to kind of get a feel for it and I do like the writing style so I'm very excited to get with this, to read it, to feel the emotions that everybody that has read it has had. I'm told that I'm going to be devastated and heartbroken and just all kinds of emotions after reading this and that excites me so I'm very excited to read this. This is also a first edition which makes me very very happy. It's a massive book and I cannot wait to read to it. I'm going to be starting this next week for the TBR Takedown read Thon, and I am just I'm super 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 excited to get to this and let you guys know how I feel about it so whew, those are all the books that I've gotten so far in the month of May actually this is probably like April and May um, I am excited about everything that I have here um, I am excited to read everything um, I will have another book haul coming because I'm going I think I'm going to place a book outlet order because I've been saving my cart and cart and over and over and over again and I think I'm at the point now where I really like it also I was able to get on the list for the um, Alcrate box. I got a subscription to it so I will be doing a video for my Alcrate box and that will be in the middle of June. Very excited about that. But yeah, other than that guys, thanks so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.